Hey, welcome back. In the previous video, we saw how to submit a Spark job on our Dataproc cluster via the Google Cloud Console UI. In this video, we're going to see how we can submit the same job using gcloud command line. So first, uh, we are going to see how we can submit the job. So we will say Google or rather gcloud data proc jobs and we will go to the documentation since we do not remember the exact ordering and you do not have to do that and then we will open the command line here and we will do it like this we will keep it on the left and then keep this on the right so we will see let us start doing so we'll say gcloud data proc submit and then it will ask for the command uh, so we will say PySpark. We have a PySpark job. We will say the cluster. So it says my first cluster. Then it will ask the script that you want to run. So the script that I want to run is stored in my bucket. I don't know the name of my bucket. So I will go here. I will copy the project ID because my bucket name is same to my project ID. And then I will say spark write underscore demo dot py and I go back to the documentation again. And then there are certain arguments, but there is one thing which I would suggest that you enter the region because it will try to find it in the region. And then I'll say project and the project ID as well. And we're going to hit enter. We will see. I hope that we have entered the correct parameters. Okay, so it says you meant something else, which is correct. We forgot to add the jobs here. But this should work this time around. But it says that there is no cluster found. Hmm, interesting. Why is that? So we will go to our clusters and we'll see that we have entered the wrong region. So if you have, so that's how the URL is built. As you can see, it is trying to find the cluster in projects slash project ID slash regions slash the region which you have mentioned, right? So if we mention the wrong region, it will not be able to find the cluster. So this confirms one thing that Clusters in data proc are a regional construct. We will hit enter and we will wait for the job to come up. We'll also open the jobs page in the meantime. And as you can see, there is a job which has been submitted and it is waiting for the job output. We will definitely get an error because we have a save as table statement in there, but we have not added an overwrite uh, mode there. And since the table exists with the same name, uh, we will get the exception and rightly so we get the exception that and it says that the number already exists. So what we are going to do is that we're going to fix that right now. We will say write dot mode and we'll say over write. We will upload that script once again in our bucket and once it is uploaded, we will uh, submit the same job again. So we're going to submit the same job again. I will do a CLS so it is clear and then I'll submit the job again. Here you can refresh. It is still showing as running, but it should come as failed. Yep, surely it comes as failed. And now again, the job is in the running state. You are getting the same logs that you were getting when we were running the job from the console, we are getting the exactly same logs. You will see that the application has been submitted. The print statement logs are there. It says a lot of things. And within a couple of more seconds, it should be done. Right. While this job is, uh, so yeah, so you get all these stats when the job is complete, that when it was started, what was the ID, what was the project ID. It said, it is also showing the status history that it was pending and then setup done, then running and then finished. So 
see how easy it was it it is similar experience but it is more automation friendly so if you want to uh, start your jobs from your shell scripts you can do that just bear in mind that the machine from which you are trying to submit the job has proper credentials because in this case we have configured our g cloud utility with our own credentials remember the g cloud auth login that we did in our setup video so that needs to be done from wherever you want to submit uh, your jobs so yeah that's how you can submit your jobs via the g cloud command line so i'm going to see you guys in the next video where we are going to submit our job by logging into the cluster and then start our jobs see you then bye bye